Hey guys, all right, deep cleaning your Vitamix. Getting that cloudy film off the container happens to everyone. There's an easy fix and it's not just running a cleaning cycle. It's not just using a vinegar soak. Here's how, here's how you do it. Make a baking soda paste. So a little bit of baking soda, warm water, mix it around, and then get in there with a brush. We're using an old toothbrush. Brush out those stains. They're not really stains. They're just mineral deposits that have been left there by the water that you didn't dry off of your container. You ran a cleaning cycle, la la la, super clean, and then you just kind of set it on the counter with drops of water. Now the vinegar soak does do a pretty good job. You can actually scrub scrub a good amount of those clouds off the side of the container. The baking soda scrub works like magic. I will say when we did this, we did soak it in vinegar for 24 hours and then did the baking soda scrub. So I can't speak to how it would work with just using baking soda and water without the vinegar soak. So try the vinegar first, see what you can get off, and then use the baking soda. It's worth a little bit of extra effort, especially if you're only gonna do this every month or two. It's pretty remarkable how clean and shiny you can get your container after using a little baking soda and water and a toothbrush. Here's the before cloudy container and here's the after next to a brand new container. You can definitely tell one is one has been used a lot. This is our container we've been using for two and a half years. Pretty good. Now, if you have an Ascend series or a Smart System Vitamix container with the clear lid that clicks on, there's gonna be a rubber seal that you're gonna wanna clean under. Here's how you do it. Super easy. Take a butter knife and just kinda touch the end of it, sort of perpendicular to the container and then just kind of lever up so you can kind of get under that seal and then just pull it off it stretches and goes right back on really easily you're gonna find some pretty gnarly stuff in there same thing baking soda water scrub 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 and guys if, if you want to do this baking soda wash less often after you run a cleaning cycle the normal warm water and soap cleaning cycle just dry off the container those mineral deposits are not going to have an opportunity to stick to the side of the container and it's going to stay nice and shiny for longer and guys, if you haven't already, definitely subscribe to our channel. Uh, hit that bell to get notified. If you appreciate videos like this, hit that thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.